Oh, hey, I'm Dallas. Welcome to my shop. If any of you are like me and you have a shop and you watch Big Brother Adam Savage to see all the cool toys that he gets and then wants to go buy them but most often finds them sold out and has to make them yourself, well, then you've come to the right place because I've made Adam Savage's paint can mixer that he bought off the internet that I've now found constantly sold out for months. I took matters into my own hand, went to Walmart, bought some super cheap parts, $5 spray paint can mixer. Now let's go to Walmart and look at the parts, get back in there, and then we'll come back here and we'll put them together and talk about what we have. Stick around. I need to work on this door. Matter of fact, before we go to Walmart, this is my lube caddy. All right, we're at the Walmart. Are you even a shop owner if you don't shop at Walmart? Also, we go in the garden entrance because we're real men. Let's go, kids. Okay, okay. Dad. I ain't your pappy. <laughs> They're not my kids. You get one toy, one dollar. That's what my dad used. To, that's what my dad used to do to me. Of course, you ain't get no toys at Walmart for a dollar. Two Hot Wheels, at least when I was a kid. They're probably way more expensive now. All right, I think the spray paint's over here. Let's pick a can before we go looking for you know, the device. I want yellow. Do you see yellow? Yes, the exact can. We're filming it out of order. They don't know I know what the can is. <laughs> I've bought a lot of cans of this. I've painted a lot of stuff yellow. But for measurement's sake, let's take a can over to the cup section and try to find something that'll fit in. Almost all cans of paint you're gonna get are the same diameter. Matter of fact, it's about the diameter of a Coke can. This is some new, brand that's out I haven't used but Walmart's carrying the crap out of it people are buying it left and right comment below if you've used them because I've never used it but I do like the color selection of it look at all this it's pretty cool okay let's go look at the cups here catch you ready oh I thought you were dropping it I, I thought you were oh so you, you got hands is what you're saying go long I'm just kidding I'm not Imagine, imagine me being dumb enough to chuck a whole ass spray paint can in a 12 year old's face in Walmart while the, while the camera's rolling. I'm in the outdoor section because usually there's like tumblers instead of cups. Help me find the tumblers. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're in the right spot. Okay, so here's what we're looking for. We're looking for something that is perfectly cylindrical, which is to say no handles or anything like that. We want it to be metal so we can put all thread or a bolt through it and clamp it on. So. Oh, these all have handles. You know what? That would rip off, though, if it were a good fit. But it's not a good fit. So we got to try a few more things. Nothing happened. No one seen Oh, I broke it. Okay. No, nothing happened. Okay, here we go. I think we kind of hit the jackpot here, because this is what I pictured, honestly, was like a tumbler. Okay, and we're close, because you know what? That doesn't have like a solid fit, but like, let's be honest, if you put a bolt through that and you spun it, it's gonna work. It's gonna be probably extra wobbly, but that, that's a good start. Like, I'll buy that if nothing else works. Uh, ooh, I like how cylindrical this is. You know what, but it doesn't fit in the mouth. I bet if you got this and cut it, it would probably work. And it's like taller than the can. And obviously, we don't want anything plastic. Uh, there's nothing quite right. What, are you pointing at this one? Ooh, mm, no, it's a weird shape. It's like Coke bottle shape. Okay, ooh, look at these. Okay. Come here, come here. Put that in there, feel it. That's like perfect. You that's can feel a, the air coming out. 
Okay, now it doesn't grip it quite enough. You don't want it to spin really. It works. All right, that's perfect. That's what we're getting. What is this? A can cooler with opener. What is it with opener read? Oh, it's got a, I don't like that. It's got like a bottle opener on the bottom. Okay, there's one without. Let's get the one without. I feel like that's not that big of a problem, but it might get in the way of our nuts, bolts, and washers. Let's get the one without. It costs five, 530. So 530. Heck, the spray paint. This can of spray paint costs more. How much was it? Like six bucks? That's a good shape. It's all right. Okay. Okay, see you later. Let's go back to the shop. All right, we're good. Are you still rolling? Just in case something crazy happens. Oh, gosh. No, don't <laughs> You ain't ever been handled. <laughs> here, come here. Jump on three. One, two, three. <laughs> no, no. He's... I swear to God, y'all get me kicked out of Walmart. How would I run a shop without Walmart? Y'all quit it. You're so polite. He dang near just ran that lady over and he's like, excuse me. We are back from Walmart and have you ever seen such a simple supply list? A can of spray paint and what, what do you call this? Is this a keep cool? Yeah, it looks like a keep cool. It looks like a keep cool to me. It's just metal. It's a double wall stainless steel keep cool. Uh, there are more supplies that I didn't really pick up because we're in my workshop and I already have them. Let's go get my bolt box. Sure wish I could read. Screws, bolts. This is my bolt box and all we really need to make this work is a medium to long size bolt. You see here I have lots and lots of uh, just random stuff. I don't even know what some of this is from, but I just need something I think that has a nut on it. I'd like a lock nut, but I think that we could probably just do lock washers. Anybody, lock washers? Uh, what about duct tape? I don't think duct tape would work. I need to put these in some sort of numerical order because I never know what I'm getting. Zip ties, screws, stickers, fastening, nails, blades, metric bolts, Ziploc, wire, line, washers. Okay. I'm thinking, does that seem long enough? I think the ones that you'll see on the internet have quite a bit of a longer shaft. Hmm. Too small. I've got small lock washers and huge lock washers. Where's the normal lock washers? It looks like I should have made a trip to the Home Depot. So now I need two washers also. It's kind of the same deal. I've got like all the wrong sizes. A little bit small. Here we go. Okay. All right, so we have two washers, a nut, a bolt, a lock washer. And I think that's gonna do it. Okay, now here's the difficult part about this project. Drilling the hole in this keep cool has to be within a certain margin of error. In order for this to mix the paint properly, the bolt has to be off center. But here's the problem. You put it too off center and it could potentially be a little bit dangerous for your drill that you choose to put this in. So you've gotta be a little bit careful. Matter of fact, I've seen some people with this kind of device put it in their drill and their drill automatically shut off because it uh, has a shut off sensor when there's too much wobble. So we just wanna be a tiny little bit off center. And I'm not really sure how off center that is, but we're gonna figure it out. Gonna need a bigger drill bit. Okay. I don't know where my center punch is. My assumption is, is that if I just eyeball this and don't do anything mathematical, it should be just off center enough that it works. But I'm worried about it not being enough. So I'm gonna go a little to the right, get a little center punch. Well, let's do it to it. Ooh. 
Now here comes the real hard part. I'm joking, this should be simple. Actually, is it gonna be easy to get the whole? Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay. You know what? Let's do this right. Let's do washer. It's almost too big. Through the hole. Washer. Lock washer. Nut. Don't giggle when I say nut, you eight year old. How old are you? Look, look at this kid. That ain't funny. I said nut. He went. Get, get out! Now you have to screw your nut. This is gonna get weird. Okay. No. It might. All right, come with me, Mr. Cameraman, and let's uh, let's get the right tools for the job. Hey, child, come here. Hold that, just like that. Don't go anywhere. Okay, we need a socket, which I should have tested before I put it way down in there, but we have the right tools. Way too big. Bad first choice. Let's go two down. Nailed it, okay. Hold that right there, child. Now where's my socket? How did you say you were, like 20? 12. 12, okay. I just turned 12 this year. Well, happy birthday. That was like the last one. All right, are you holding it? Yeah. All right, teamwork. Are you working for, are you with me or against me? Are you with me or against me? <laughs> I think I'm holding it still. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. Tell me if it starts spinning. I'm holding it, oh, kind of like Oh, we, look, we dented the bottom end. I think that means we're good. All right, get off the set. <laughs> Okay, that should be the tool. It should hold. I guess we could take the Walmart advertisement off. This is not sponsored, by the way, though I'd love a Walmart sponsorship. It sounds like some real money, don't it? Mm -hmm. What do you know? You're 12. <laughs> oh, I have many sponsors, and I skip all of them. <laughs> <laughs> this kid said I watch many sponsors. I watch many videos. I skip all the sponsors. <laughs> That's some pretty thug stuff right there. All right. The inaugural test. I know what you can every single time. Are you ready? The real question is will my cheap Ryobi handle this or not? I, I have Dewalt stuff, but see the wobbliness? Somebody cue the slow mo. Listen, hold on, let me do it right. You gotta hear this. That's how you know it works. The rattle inside of the can is still going. Okay, I made a what? You made a bat. Look at this kid's sweater. Show him the sweater. Explain this to us. He said explain it. <laughs> you don't know what to say? No. It's a lightning lion! <laughs> It's a double L. A double L. <laughs> okay, let's do a test of the paint now. Now you guys are just kind of gonna have to take me at my word here. Not really a lot of scientific tests I could do here to prove that this is better mixed. But if you've used a lot of spray paint cans like I have, you're gonna have a feel, right? Come over here. It's really hard to explain because I can feel the ball shaking better in a mixed can than a not mixed can. This is kind of obvious, but like, it feels good. It feels like I've been standing in the yard shaking it for five minutes. So let's do a little spray test. 
see how she feels. Oh, look at that mixed paint. It's mixed, baby. I'll take it. All right. That's a mixed can of paint. I call this a win for five bucks. Internet shortages are no longer a problem. We have a workshop, we can make it ourselves. Hit the subscribe button, turn the notifications on so you can get more videos like this one. And until next time, peace out.